Hey guys, this is MTP Flyers, and my friends over at Spigen were nice enough to send us out a package, and uh, I've delayed a little bit, but uh, without further ado, well, we're going to skip ahead to the good part, but I'm going to tell you this now, it involves a screen shield install. So what I'll do is I'll put the times down below to let you know when I'm done. It didn't turn out that bad. So with that being said, let's skip ahead to the good part. All right, guys, so we're going to change this up a little bit here. Um, I didn't know what Spigen was sending out to us. So obviously, when you have screen protectors, really the only thing you can do is install them. So what we will do is we'll save the Glass TR Slim for another video. I want to try out uh, one of these at least for the iPad Mini. Uh, the glass, the glass, and the glass T uh, protection that they have are a little bit different for each one. But the really cool thing is they actually have a colored bezel uh, based upon whatever iPad Mini you have. You can order, and in this case, we do have the black bezel because I actually do have the black iPad Mini. And then over here for the glass T, they actually just have the whole clear shield. So what I think I would like to do is, uh, well, of course, I would love to try out the glass tee, but let's take a look at them real quick, and then I'll probably just install this one, and uh, I don't know, maybe give this one away or try it out. They're a little bit different, so I would probably like to try them both out. It's just so tough because I don't want to take the other one off. So let's just dig into these and see exactly what we have going on here. Now, these are sealed. Oh, well, that was easily come off. But you have uh, what comes in here. You get a little jelly button there, which actually helps with the uh, limited thickness uh, that the screen shield does offer. You've got uh, a swab to completely clean your screen off, a squeegee card, and then, of course, your um, authentication <laughs> authentication uh, serial number for that. You get a nice big uh, chamois or uh, cloth there to clean your screen off, which I need another one of those. And... A little guide on how to uh, install it a little bit there and it's supposed to be a one-touch uh, installation I'll be the judge of that <laughs> and pretty much what looks like a new front cover for, for your iPad mini they have uh, pretty much to the T to where you will line it up and you probably won't even know that this is a screen protector now of course like I said before it is a little uh, deeper cutout because of the thickness so adding that home button uh, is very nice on there. So I am guessing here that, yeah, this is the back, and I'm assuming this is the front. So this is what we take off when we're done, but it does tell you nice there that this is the sticky side and this is the smooth side. So uh, let's uh, just take a quick peek at the glass T and uh, to show the differences on that. And same thing in there. They've got the buttons, the gel buttons, the squeegee, the uh, microfiber, and then, of course, the screen shield itself, or glass screen shield. And honestly, I don't know if one is really thicker than the other. I, I don't know. I mean, obviously, these are, you know, millimeters when it comes to uh, the difference in these. But I guess really the main difference is the fact that uh, you have the color bezel to match what you're devices and then just a clear one so you know just taking a quick peek at these you know I don't see the differences right off the bat so as far as specs go on each of these I don't know if one is really any thinner than the other uh, as far as what they offer um, you know they give a little bit more information here as far as the uh, design goes but on the front they kind of do the same thing that they have uh, you know the really only difference is the color printing for the device and then the whole transparency which you know what I could go either way it doesn't really matter to me I think it'll be easier to install this because you can line up with the bezel and everything shows up a little bit and uh, whereas you have your glass T here you're just pretty much straightforward and uh, you've got the circle home button to line you up and that's about it so uh, this is going to affect a lot of uh, cases that wrap, wrap over the side of the uh, iPad mini but we are talking about a different device here. We're always so used to our iPhone 5 protecting it and, and making sure that nothing happens to it. 
and dropping it. But, you know, with the iPad mini and the iPad or any tablet, you know, you, you tend to be, in my opinion, I tend to be uh, a lot more daring when it comes to using it. I guess for the simple fact that I'm not necessarily using it on the go. I'm sitting down or, or something like that. So, you know, that all-out protection is is nice to have just in case but for the most part I mean you could probably put a screen protector on here on the front and just something very small on the back for example you know I'm using the um, the Spigen hard shell cover you know of course you don't need a screen protector with that but if you go with like a you know a very minimalistic case and you got a screen protector you're good to go so I guess I'm just gonna go ahead and go with uh, the glass and uh, you know we'll, maybe I'll think about Checking out the glass tea, uh, if there's a big difference in that, I'll read up a little bit on it. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do an install right here for you guys. I do have it as clean as I think I'm going to be able to get it. And... We're going to take the back off here. And that is on there. Let me tell you. That's a lot of screen. I'm doing this for the iPad. Whew, I used to hate doing screen shield installs for that. Alright, so we got that as good as we're going to, I think. Not really. I could always go better want to go better but I'm gonna lean in here a little bit and I'm gonna line this up pardon my head and I'm gonna try to drop this in place to where it's lined up as good as it can be and push in the center and it kinda already started doing its thing so there it goes so you've got the screen shield just kinda working itself out and you see it's spreading and spreading alright guys so I have been working at this for a few minutes now it, it seems as if the the black bezel portion here uh, in addition to the screen protector really is holding up my ability to work the rest of the bubbles out now it does say in the instructions that smaller bubbles will work themselves and disappear in a couple days now I do have one here in the corner which you can't necessarily see but on the sides here I just keep trying to work these bubbles out so this is not unless I'm doing something wrong this is not a quick install, uh, you know, unless, you know, obviously, there's always the MTP Flyers, uh, um, <laughs> you know, ability to ins install screen shields, but you guys saw it. I mean, I don't think I did it any different than anyone else would have. I haven't watched any other videos on this uh, install of this particular screen protector, so I don't know if anyone else had this issue, um, if you even want to call it that. Maybe... Maybe it's just I just need to leave it go and just let it work itself out. But, you know, I still have the screen protector on top of that. Um, so I'm not necessarily scratching the screen protector already to, you know, for us to give it its its once over test of uh, trying to scratch it and whatnot. But you can see here I still got some bubbles on the side. So I'm going to leave it at that for now. But uh, I am pretty happy with the install. It definitely uh, doesn't look like it's a screen protector that's on there. It looks like it's just part of the device itself. So what we shall do is I'll work a little bit more to work these out, and I'll give you guys an update in a couple days. As it says, two to three days. I'm sorry, one to two days, and uh, the smaller bubble should disappear. So I'll get back to you guys on that in a couple days. But uh, this is the glass um, protection, uh, glass premium tempered glass for the iPad mini uh, and it comes in white and black to match your particular iPad mini as well as the glass T which is just a complete uh, sheet of uh, maximum uh, protection I want to thank Spigen for sending these out for review if you want to try any of these or pick any of these up you know that you want it I'll put the links down below if they're available on Amazon 
and uh, you guys all mark them up for each one, which ones they are, and you can check them out. Support the channel by shopping through Amazon. I appreciate that. Gotten tons of uh, support on that. And um, I'll probably put the black jelly button on, but once we do that, so I'll show that to you guys uh, in a few days once we try it out. So, again, thanks, Began, very, very much for sending these out. And uh, you guys want me to see uh, see me install this and see what it's like? Uh, or should I give it away? You guys comment down below because the idea is to try it out and see what you guys think. But at the same time, give away, right? I mean, come on. I can't give that away because i got to try it. So let me know down below. You guys have a good night. And I'll talk to you later. See ya.